So, okay, y'all, let me just say this. <sighs> y'all already know how I feel about Kenya Moore. I think she is um, deceitful, mm -hmm. manipulative. Uh, what is what, what did Matt call her? She's a liar and she's fundamentally deceptive or something to that effect. Well, she did an interview recently with uh with extra extra tv where she mm -hmm. talked about her marriage and she's talked about everything that's been going on uh you know on the blogs and how nini accused her of not being legally married and how you know the blogs i.e me accused her of you know not getting divorced because she was never married all of that right mm -hmm. and the baby situation and all of that so now she okay so long story short kenya allegedly eloped in St. Lucia. We saw all of that three years ago, her and Mark Daly, the whole fist bumping and all that on the beach uh, with a few of her friends. I don't know. We didn't see them, but they say they was there. And so now she's doing this interview and a lot of people who sent this to me <laughs> have told me, here's, okay, let me just show you this. And you see, look at this comment up under there. Who is this? Talisha. Hey, Talisha girl. Said A.T. Elliott. Why did she say Turks and Caicos? I thought she was married in St. Lucia. So I'm like, let me go look and see what they're talking about. Hold on. Let me see if y'all can hear this. Please to be joined by real. Oops. 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 Can you more? <laughs> can you? Thank God you guys. Thank God you guys had a virtual reunion, right? It was easier on security. Now, your dear, dear close Can you personal there? friend, Nene mm -hmm. Leakes, okay. uh, <laughs> has said, she said, you're not legally married. There are no papers anywhere. So divorce, if the, these two did, wouldn't even apply. You agreed to a baby and you paid for it all. Are you legally married? Is Nene out of line? When has she not been out of line? Yes, I'm legally married. I have my marriage certificate. I have witnesses. She's basically calling pretty much everyone in Turks and Caicos a lie. My family a lie. I just think that she crosses lines. She's a vile. Everybody in Turks and Caicos? Kids are, you know, kids are. Well, she's not a lesson. Nini also says that, that, I mean, she says, those are not your eggs. Um, Wait a minute. What'd you say, dear? I'm saying she may have went to Turks or Caicos and got married, and then she had honeymoon in St. Lucia. But her wedding pictures are in St. Lucia. Listen, I'm just saying. I'm trying to help her out. I'm look. I'm gonna pull those up in a minute. We're gonna finish listening to what she had to say. Hold on. Go back a little bit. You see, kids are you know, kids are off limits. Nini also says that, I mean, she says, those are not your eggs. Um, is that too low a blow? Should she even be going there? I just think when people make comments like that, it is to try to hurt them where they're most vulnerable. But there's a child involved. And I just, I just think that it is who she is. She is who she is. She's never going to change. It's just trash. But aren't you strange bedfellows? I mean, it's it's amazing because the, the actual discord between the two of you is kind of central to the show. Well, it doesn't need to be. Listen, I think that I have been a target of her attacks because I simply have seen her for who she is. She never supported me during my pregnancy. And even now when my beautiful baby is here, uh, making, you know, these accusations and things like that, uh, targeting my family, my, my family that is obviously struggling right now to just stay together. Can you and Mark make it through this? Do you, do you feel like you're going to uh, keep the marriage together? What are the chances? You know, I don't know what the chances are. Only God knows that. And so if it works, I, I'd be super happy because that is Brooklyn's dad. And um, and if it doesn't, I think that I think we'll all be okay. Well, <sighs> uh, 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 Derek, mm -hmm. I know you don't have nothing to say. I don't even know why I'm gonna ask you. <laughs> I, I gotta put, I gotta pull up this wedding, honey. I gotta, I gotta pull up this wedding. I gotta, I gotta pull it up because I just, you know, I just. <sighs> <laughs> Kenya Moore married. That was in June 2017. Okay, hold on. Let me go here. I've been married for three years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
but they were in St. Lucia. Um, oh, I was shading her way back then, y'all. Hold on, I'm putting this link You've in there. For a long time. Huh? You were shading her for a long time. Stop it, Derek. I have not been shading her for a long time. It's just a little, a little time. <laughs> I don't know why y'all be doing me like that. I'm just doing a job. It's just my job to speculate about, you know, things that happen. So this is my story I wrote. I called it a stunt and a show. I want to salute to Tamara Tattles for, um, you know, posting the pictures that Kenya sent her of the wedding. This one, they were in um, St. Lucia. Mm hmm. Um. You know, they actually even talked to someone who was, you know, there, like one of the, the employees or something. So it was just a few blurry pictures of that wedding. And so even that time, I was like, show me the show me the marriage license. Where are the legal documents? Marriage licenses aren't hard to find, but apparently Kenya's doesn't ex exist or no one's bothered to look for it. And here we are three years later. And she has changed the actual location of the wedding. Now, I don't know about you. Hold on, let me get the let me get the fist bumping pictures up. Hold on, let me find them because <laughs> I know I got them too. Kenya Moore is not. <laughs> I'm so. I'm too shady for words. I'm sorry. I, I laugh at my own post, especially years later. I cracked myself up. So this particular post was, was written the next day. <laughs> I'm sorry, I gotta laugh at myself. You have your own shadiness. I am. This is my own post. <laughs> the wedding resort denied the rumors, you know, that she got married in St. Lucia. So she might have really got married in what she just said? In Turks and Caicos. In Turks and Caicos. Oh, okay. Well, okay. Well, this particular was pick these pictures were taken at uh, a resort in St. Lucia, but the wedding venue said she didn't get married there. <sighs> Radar Online tried to find it. Wait a minute. I'm still wait. There's a whole nother one. Hold on. Let me keep going. I'm still going back. Y'all, Kenya might be telling the truth. What if Kenya telling the truth? <laughs> What if she really did get married in St. Lucia? That's what I'm telling you. Okay, Derek. She didn't want, she didn't want you guys to show up to because uh, we know how press people be. She didn't want them to show up to nobody gonna show up at Kenya's wedding. <laughs> you know, dang well. Who gonna do that? I mean, that man that who, who was the last time I was on here that would cut that called on here that wanted to fight me because I about Kenya child. So this was uh a few weeks after the wedding. Mm -hmm. Kenya was out, you know, she released her pictures and everything. This was in St. Lucia, apparently, allegedly. Um, and like she, Turks and Caicos to me. It looks that look like Turks and Caicos. Uh, it look like St. Lucia. You, I mean, you're right. It look like St. Lucia. Make up your mind, dear. It looked like St. Lucia. It looked like Turks and Caicos because I know you've been everywhere. With whichever one she said she had her wedding at. Oh, that's what it looked like. <laughs> So, you know, Kenya posted, you know, pictures and everything. She said she was still, uh, you know, the former beauty queen was able to quickly pull off the stunt by se securing an obscure location in St. Lucia for her beach ceremony. Right. This is what, wait, this is what Kenya said to People Magazine. It was just so perfect, Moore said, of the big day, which took place at a private resort in St. Lucia. This is what mm -hmm. Kenya told People Magazine that it occurred in in St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. So she couldn't. She she lied me into. She lied to people. I think I'm wrong. My camera. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is the connection bad? We got a bad connection there. The bad connection bad. <laughs> You need to put the paper up to the mic. <laughs> yeah, you need to turn it to Teddy Riley. Turn your Bluetooth on. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, but anyway, she said, um, this is what she told People Magazine. I would not have done it any other way. It was amazing. My sign is Aquarius, so I really love the water and the ocean 
and has always wanted that as my backdrop. And we were all there on the white sand beach and you could hear the waves in the background. It was so romantic. Now she told People Magazine, she got married in St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. she twirled down the aisle with best friend and frequent RHOA guest, Brandon DeShazar, as Moore's father was celebrating his birthday in Jamaica. <laughs> so my thing, my thing is this. My thing is this. Obviously, it was people there. Hmm. She obviously was in a wedding dress. Mm -hmm. She obviously had a wedding. Mm. Do you remember when Eddie Murphy and um, <laughs> what's her name? Uh, Tracy Edmonds got married on that beautiful beach. I'm young. You know that, right? It, you ain't that young. <laughs> <laughs> they got married on this beautiful beach. <laughs> and they had pictures of the, their wedding and everything. And then they uh -huh. came back to the United States. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the world found out that their wedding was never legal. So they just was like, oh, well, we're not married. Because they didn't file in the Uni United States, even though they had this big, huge ceremony surrounded by family and friends. Quite, okay, so what my question is this. I mean, this is me being devil's advocate. Okay. Does, does, does the wedding license make your make it legal yes it does I'm saying, I'm saying, not, not make it legal does the, not having a wedding license you could be married without a wedding license i mean can't you common law marriage yeah i mean like common law marriage i mean just or you can have the players they never lived in the same house so but you they pledge their law they pledge their marriage loyalty to themselves Derek, you're so positive you're right well, so no, I'm they, so it was a commitment ceremony and not a, a marriage. There you go. Because I'm just saying, in the United States, for most of the time, for tax purposes and whatever else, right. you have to you have to report that you are married. Legally, you have to do that. You can't just be like, oh, I'm not married and you're married. It has to be recorded. Thank you so much, Mr. Jones. Can't get my words together. Got Derek don't want to hear this. He going to hang up in a minute. No, I'm, I'm fine. You know, I mean, King is not my friend. Oh, okay. You know, what I'm saying that she's not my friend, but I'm just saying, but I'm just saying that you know, if they, if they, if she want to have this elaborate ceremony and they commit themselves to friendship, then hey, okay. So that being said, mm -hmm. <sighs> Thank you, Brenda. Yes, I tried, Brenda. Just the fact that she did that interview. And said, with People Magazine, we got married in St. Lucia. Mm -hmm. It was a beautiful day. Now she done did a, an interview with Extra and said, oh, so my friends in Turks and Caicos are all lying. Like, well, uh, well, uh, you don't see there's something, like, you think she trolling us? I don't know, child. Ex Derek. If you were to go on People Magazine and say one thing, you don't care. That's it. Okay, fine. I'm holding up on you. But you know what? For people, listen, I mean, we do, we see, we've seen backtracking and this and that from, from certain people all the time. So, you know, the thing about it is that, hey, did she, was it real? Was it fake? What, what, what it was? I don't know. You know, what I do know is she had a wedding dress on. I know um, Brandon was there. And his name Brandon? Brandon DeShazar, yes. Yeah. yeah, Brandon was there. I mean, there were people there dressed up in their nice garbs. You know, so I don't know, I don't know what, I mean, whatever it was, it was a very, um, it was a very elaborate display. Okay. Yes. Okay. Do you want? Do you want to take calls? You want to be messy with my callers? It's a thousand people watching. Hold on for a second. I'll be back. Oh, okay. Don't be messy. I'll be back. Okay. <laughs> you sure? Okay. Well, <clears throat> I don't have a co-host because my co-host don't want to be messy with me. But y'all can call in and be as messy as y'all like. I would love to hear what you have to say about. Kenya's lies, it's deception. 
It wasn't love. It was marriage. It was a perfect. It was <laughs> I love Derek. Derek is y'all just don't y'all don't know Derek. Derek is even better than he appears on camera. He is amazing. <laughs> Derek said, my name Wes. I ain't in this mess, honey. I asked him now before. I said, you want to get messed with me? I gave him out. 